The Second International 1889 the original Socialist International, was an organization of socialist and labor parties formed in Paris on 14 July 1889. At the Paris meeting, delegations from 20 countries participated. The International continued the work of the dissolved First International, though excluding the still powerful anarcho-syndicalist movement and unions and by 1922 April 2 at a major post-World War I conference it began to reorganize into the Labour and Socialist International. History Among the Second International's famous actions were its 1889 declaration of the 1st of May, May Day as International Workers' Day and its 1910 declaration of the International Women's Day, first celebrated on the 19th of March and then on the 8th of March after the main day of the women's marches in 1917 during the Russian Revolution. It initiated the international campaign for the eight-hour working day. The international's permanent executive and information body was the International Socialist Bureau (ISB), based in Brussels and formed after the international's Paris Congress of 1900. Emile Vanderwelde and Camille Heismans of the Belgian Labour Party were its chair and secretary. Vladimir Lenin was a member from 1905. The Second International became ineffective in 1916 during World War I because the separate national parties that composed the International did not maintain a unified front against the war, instead generally supporting their respective nations' role. The Secretary General of the ISB, Camille Heismans, moved the ISB from German-occupied Brussels to The Hague in December 1914 and attempted to coordinate socialist parties from the warring states to at least July 1916. French section of the Workers' International SFIO leader Jean Yaurès's assassination, a few days before the beginning of the war, symbolized the failure of the antimilitarist doctrine of the Second International. At the Zimmerwald Conference in 1915, anti-war socialists attempted to maintain international unity against the social patriotism of the social democratic leaders. In July 1920 at Geneva, the last Congress of the Second International was held, following its functional collapse during the war. However, some European socialist parties refused to join the reorganized international and decided instead to form the International Working Union of Socialist Parties IWUSP Second and a Half International or Two and a Half International, heavily influenced by Ostromarxism. In 1923, IWUSP and the Second International merged to form the Social Democratic Labour and Socialist International which continued to exist until 1940. After World War II, a new Socialist International was formed to continue the policies of the Labour and Socialist International and it continues to this day. Another successor was the Third International organized in 1919 under the soon-to-be Communist Party of the Soviet Union. It was officially called the Communist International Comintern and lasted until 1943 when it was dissolved by then-Soviet leader Joseph Stalin. Latin America In Latin America, the International had two affiliates, namely the Socialist Party of Argentina and the Socialist Party of Uruguay. The exclusion of anarchists Anarchists tended to be excluded from the Second International, nevertheless. Anarchism had in fact dominated the London Congress of the Second International." This exclusion received the criticism from anti-authoritarian socialists present at the meetings. It has been argued that at some point the Second International turned into a battleground over the issue of libertarian versus authoritarian socialism. Not only did they effectively present themselves as champions of minority rights, they also provoked the German Marxists into demonstrating a dictatorial intolerance which was a factor in preventing the British labour movement from following the Marxist direction indicated by such leaders as Henry Hindman. <laughs> Congresses and conferences of the Second International Source: Julius Bronthal, 1980. History of the International, Volume 3, 1943 to 1968. London: Victor Gollans. p. 562. After World War I, there were three socialist conferences in Switzerland. 
These were as a bridge to the creation of the Labour and Socialist International. <laughs> Related international gatherings Source, Julius Bronthal 1980. History of the International, Vol. 3, 1943–1968. London. Victor Gollins. pp. 562–563. See also Communist International Third International or Comintern Fifth International Fourth International and Trotskyist Internationals French Section of the Workers' International SFIO, the French Section of the Second International Inter-Allied Socialist Conferences of World War I International Anarchist Congresses International Federation of Socialist Young People's Organizations International Socialist Women's Conferences International Workingmen's Association First International International Working Union of Socialist Parties Second and a Half International or Two and a Half International Neutral Socialist Conferences during the First World War Socialist International Vienna Socialist Conference of 1915 Topic Footnotes Topic. External links The Second International. Marxists.org. History of the Second International. In French and English. German Social Democratic Party and the Second International. Fractal Vortex. Dutt, R. Palm. International, the Encyclopædia Britannica, 12th ed.